Hey guys, this is going to be part 5 to my horror series tutorials and this is going to be about adding some sound effects or enemy appearing um, effects that you'd see in a horror game so you might expect a, a monster to jump out at you when you walk over a collider or when you're looking down a corridor or something like that so I'm going to show you how to make an enemy appear just a basic mesh and then add a sound effect at the same time then make it disappear over you know a split second so you know you get that sort of shocking moment alright so first of all what I've got in my scene is my first burst controller tagged as player I've got um, my scare trigger which is just on the floor which is just a box I've removed the mesh renderer and I have set it to um, his trigger then what I've got is got my enemy over here which is just a cube and just named the enemy so we can keep it constant then what we're going to do is we're going to write a quick script now this is not going to be a long tutorial but it's just the basics of making an enemy appear and scare your player so we'll call this enemy fright and we'll open up in mono develop once that's open we'll delete the two functions and then we'll write a variable enemy as type game object then I'll write another variable type sound scare as audio clip is we'll write function start two brackets and then two curly brackets then we'll set enemy dot get component open brackets mesh renderer close that up dot enabled equals false so initially you won't see the enemy so we'll disable the mesh renderer so we can't see anything then we'll say function on trigger enter open brackets call colon collider and then we'll open up two curly brackets below and we'll say if call dot tag is equal to player then we'll close that up and add two curly brackets below and then say enemy dot get component just like the top in brackets mesh renderer close it up dot enabled equals true then we'll set audio dot play one shot open brackets then we'll write in scare sound close that up then we'll say yield wait for seconds and then we'll open brackets we can put 1.5 close that up add a semicolon and then we'll also copy this line again paste it in below and what we're going to want to do is set this to false so then after a certain period of time you can't see the enemy anymore and then under here we're going to say destroy lowercase game object so we can make that enemy appear again so what I'll do is I'll save that out and go back into Unity. Then what I'm actually going to do is go on my trigger that I've got here. I will add my enemy fright script. Make sure this has got an audio source on it so it plays a sound. So component audio audio source. Now you want to add the enemy game object. So add it in over here. And then you want to choose a scare sound. So maybe I'll just choose an explosion sound effect for this so I'll play my scene and you'll see I'm in my scene again and I'll walk into the collide activate it and the sound will pl uh, play as well as the enemy appearing and then you make it disappear so obviously you can adjust all the timings you can make it shorter you make it longer you can change the sound effect but that's just a simple way to make an enemy appear disappear and play a quick sound just to scare your player so that was really simple thanks very much for watching the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers